What the fuck? Ugh, stupid fucking OBS. Can you hear me now? Ugh. What the fuck? Ugh. All right. That was hella dumb. Fucking, uh... Like, I have, like, a default source mic set up. My mic right here. And it just, like, had nothing selected for the mic. Like, it just, like... I don't know. Fucking OBS just being a bitch trying to ruin my life. Um, <laughs> thanks for letting me know, V9. I appreciate it. Anyways, I guess that will, uh, for the YouTube VOD, we'll start it right here because the first 10 minutes had no audio. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, we are down in the dungeons doing stuff and things. We have a fight down here that I really want to do, which will reward us with two really good daggers, so I want to do this. And, uh, yeah, we're just about to level on Losa, so that's why we're killing these dogs. You didn't really miss anything, we just went down in the dungeons, beat up some silent monks, and now we're killing some dogs, and the real fight will commence momentarily. Again, sorry about the, uh, the technical difficulties. Thought the whole time you were just not talking, LMAO. <laughs> no, I was responding to you guys, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Technical difficulties, man. The life, the struggles of a streamer never end. There's always fucking something. Alright, nice. We killed the doggos. Very sad, I know. We got a level up for both of our characters, so why don't we do that? A <laughs> silent monk. I found a silent wolf. Oh, you clever bitch. You clever girl. Um, looks like my mic is peaking a little bit. I think I'm going to turn it down just a squidge. Might have reset my settings when I, uh, when we were having the issue. Um, okay, so on Losa, you have plenty of memory slots, so we don't need to do that. Definitely want strength, and I feel like we've got enough health. I don't feel like we're struggling with that. Here, I think we'll just put some more points into Warfare, because it's a safe bet. And for civil points, we will go with... I need a lore master. Um, do we want lore master? I really want to take persuasion on a character, but it's tough, because you kind of need a lore master. And then for you, my dear, we will take some finesse. Do you have enough memory slots? Yes, you do. We'll take... Two points in finesse, and some more points in the dual wielding. Are there any spells I'm particularly wanting to learn right now? Uh, no, I think we'll just take some more dual wielding and some more thievery. Yes. All right, dogs are dead. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and loot this room. Animal hide. Yum. Dog parts. But I see a healing potion, so I will take that. Um, bloodied leg. We can eat that. Severed head, bloodied leg. We can eat all these body parts with our elf. And potentially get good stuff. Then identified flesh. Gross. Gross. That does not sound appetizing. But she's a trooper, so she's going to eat it. That dog squeaking is super annoying. So many years twinkle behind you like distant stars. Tiny, but beautiful. You smell wheat hail. You hear a chorus in a tavern. You feel joy. Huh. All right. You're a tough dwarven smith of great experience and talent. You wanted to make a name for yourself. But you ran out of time. Hmm. Hi, Exo. How are you doing, bro? Thanks for coming by the stream. You are nothing. You are no one. You do not exist. Not really. Your YouTube announcement kind of worked. Seems like it really worked. I mean, you're here, so it must have. You are nothing. You are no one. You do not exist. Not really. 
Huh. Emo. A deluge of happiness. You played the flute. You wrote poetry. The music ended in Fort Joy. Hmm. Sad. All right. Nothing too fancy there. That's locked. Let's go ahead and pick the lock. Uh, this is a very sad story. So the source dogs, I believe, are sorcerers that have been uh, like polymorphed into animals and forced to serve the mat the magisters. And this one is uh, one of those. I don't think we'll be able to talk to it though because oh, we don't have pet pal. It. So we're just gonna try and put it out of its misery. If you talk to it, it wants you to put it out of its misery. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Houndmaster's crossbow. You can sell that. Good find. And a resurrection scroll. Excellent. Let's go ahead and pick the lock. I have a headache and I have to go to a sweat 15 later. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. The dog's tail wags frantically. Suddenly, it grows very still and starts to growl. It inches towards you, teeth bared, as though ready to bite, when it suddenly stops. Its tail starts to wag again. Suddenly, it lunges. Oh, so that's what happens if you don't have pet pellet, it just attacks you. Well, if you talk to it, it's very sad that it got turned into a dog and it just wants you to kill it. Let's go ahead and knock you down so you don't get a turn. Just finish it off. And I don't know what to wear. Uh, yeah, wear a karate gi, dude. You only get to live once. How many opportunities are you gonna have in your life to wear a karate gi? Alright. Let's go do the hard fight down here. I think... What are we, level 6? I think we're gonna be a little over-leveled for this. Which is just fine. That's why we murdered everybody in Fort Joy. Let's see what happens. I can hop mm. Hello. Who are you, you lovely little fairy? Ugh. You're creepy. You're very creepy. Um. He reaches out and places a hand on yours. Grab his hand and press down. Hard. Aha. Easy. Mmm, so fascinating. Living bark. Living wood. Please, come in. Oh, do make yourself at home, won't you? Um. Tell him home is the pet name of a special knife of yours. You'll give him the proper introductions. Oh, but this is destiny. <laughs> I too name my knives. And my shears. And my pliers. And my scalpels. Oh, Dear little thing, I'd like to lick you all over with my studded tongue. Oh, you're so gross. Choke back your resentment and prepare to disembowel this freak. Oh, rudely I am denied. You may break my heart, but I'll have yours with strawberries. Ugh. Come, come, Ugh. So we've got die, this guy, Papa. who's... Uh, he's only level four. We've got one, two... Three silent monks, and then one, two, three of these meat golems. Fortunately, the golems are locked up in cages, so it'll take them, like, a turn or two to get out. You don't have a karate gi. Could you go buy one? Is that an option? Um, let's go ahead and get behind him. And... Let's try and stunlock him. So we're going to use Adrenaline. Try and break that physical armor. And then we will... Knock him down with Battering Ram. Easy. Sorry, adjusting myself. We can kill him as long as we don't fucking miss. Nope. Nope. 
Uh, so what we can do here, we could leave Losa to finish him off, or uh, Sybil to finish him off. Tactical retreat over here to try and intercept these silent monks. And give ourselves haste in the process. Uh huh. Yeah, waste your enrage. Cool. Stupid. Alright, he's just gonna stand up. Silent monks are coming in. Attack of opportunity. Nice. Hey, don't heal him. You cunt. That's fine. I don't care about magic armor. Uh, let's just blink behind him for some damage. Excellent. And for you... Can I not get behind you? Ugh, that's annoying. I think we're just gonna come up and hit you. That's fine. Lantern. This just makes me want to play D&D. Yeah, I think there was definitely some D&D inspiration in this game. I don't know that for a fact, but I definitely... I have played D&D before, and it, I just kind of feel it in the gameplay. Plus, it has a mode where you can have, like, a game master sort of, like, create the environment and, like, spawn creatures dynamically and stuff for you guys to fight, which is obviously pretty D&D inspired. Behind you, don't slip. Oh, that's great. I have good boots on. Okay. We are fine. Stop missing! Fuck! I swear, I've never... Like, I've played with melee characters in this game before, and I've never had such a problem with them missing so much. Like, what is your fucking hit chance? 95%. 95% hit chance, and you miss that many times. I don't get it. Do not get it. Let's knock all three of those guys down. Nice. And let's go for a little inspire. Or encourage. Hey! Stevie Rampage is now hosting your stream. Thank you, Stevie. I appreciate it. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. How's your day going? Ooh. They're all getting clumped up nicely. Unfortunately, I don't really have much in the way of AoE yet. Let's take that one out. Let's rupture tendons this meat golem and turn it into a chicken. We are gonna want to heal her soon. She's taken some damage. Why don't we use first aid? And she still has physical armor though, so... Let's just try and bring down this meat golem. Ugh, I really want to get executioner. Then let's move up here so we can get an attack of opportunity on the chicken when it inevitably runs. Come on, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I feel good about that. Alright, let's uh, blink behind the meat golem. Sawtooth. And finish it off. We might as well give Losa haste. We can knock you. Oh, or miss. That's fine. Didn't want to hit you, anyways. Cripple. Not sure why I did cripple. I didn't accomplish anything. But that's fine. We won the fight. Let's see. I'm exhausted. First got up to go uh, to work. Only found out it was canceled once I got there. 
it's an hour away. Ooh, then I moved the lawn, the mowed the lawn in 90 degree weather, and now I'm trying to relax. Oof. Yeah, you've, uh, you've had a long day already. It's definitely time to relax for you. Well, I'm going to be here chilling, playing uh, Divinity for another two and a half hours, probably, so. If you got nothing else to do, you are more than welcome to hang out and relax. All right, and we should get some good daggers from this guy here. We get Chastity and Abstinence from him. Necklace we can't use. Resurrection Scroll, very nice. Love Grenade, that's valuable. And a Face Ripper, only useful for undead. So let's see if these daggers are upgrades. I'm hoping they are. Uh, so we got Chastity, 8 to 9 physical damage. That's definitely an upgrade over the Kitchen Knife. What do you do? 165% crits, that's bleed. So that one has a chance to bleed, this one has a chance to silence. I don't think they're better than Griff's Potato Peeler though, so why don't we take the bleed dagger over the kitchen knife and we'll get some poison damage put on that uh, pretty quickly. What am I seeing back here? Oh, there's a little Fuck, there's a little girl back here. Let's go, like, save her or something. I do wonder if they are using cleave in classic sense. Uh, I don't know. I do not know. Hello? Don't like it down here. Don't like it at all. Yeah, yo, you're standing in, like, a puddle of blood. A bad man found me on the beach and brought me here. I slipped away as soon as we got here. I just want to get out. The, the noise is out there. Please help me get out. I just want to go to the beach and play with my shells again. But that grate is too heavy for me. Uh, sure. Yeah, I got you, fam. Uh, so this just pops us out into the forest where we've already been. Can you... Where'd you go? Alright, I'm just gonna assume that we saved her. Pat myself on the back. Let's see if there's any lootables in here that we want. Pretty sure there's a good chest somewhere. Let's take that bloodied leg. We can eat that. A chunk of flesh. Sure. Why not? not feel like looting all these coffins and jugs. I don't have any points in luck, so there's not a whole lot of reason to do that. Tongs are valuable. You can munch on that torso. Why does he have so many tongs? I wonder if they all have names. Hey, Eric, what's up, man? How are you? Thank you for coming to the stream. Uh, Cleave, when you kill an enemy, you may make a free attack to an enemy with ra within range once per turn. They kind of have a skill like that that you can unlock um, called Executioner, and it's when you get a killing blow, you get two extra action points. Um, so very similar, but you do have to spec into it, which is something that I am looking to do hopefully soon. Got some epic leggings. Nice, 7% dodge. That's a huge upgrade for her. Wits gives a little bit of crit. Leadership is going to give a little bit of dodge and I think armor to the party and then 7% dodge. That is a huge amount of survivability. Good find. That would have been really sad if that was like some piece of intellect gear that I this? couldn't use. Some sort of Magister weapon. Um, Alright, so I think we're pretty well done in here. But there's a number of other rooms that we can explore. Uh, 
We still have to kill... Yeah, there's another good fight in here. This place is kind of a labyrinth. It's kind of hard to remember which area is which. Um... <laughs> Hiya, your sassy boy has arrived. You're so welcome. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Love my sassy boy. Okay, so this is the front gate. We've already cleared out here. This little hatch takes us... Um, what is this? I can't remember. Let's just explore and find out, shall we? Oh, we got some soul jars down here. That's right, I remember this room. Okay, so we gotta fight some skeletons down here. Can I just break these? Yeah. So, undead are... I know one of the ways that undead are obviously very common in this game. I know one of the ways that they are made is by putting their souls into soul jars. And then they're, uh... They're unable to die. Let's go ahead and knock you down. Oh, okay, just miss. Yeah, that's fucking par for the course. So by breaking these soul jars, we are releasing undead that have been trapped in their bodies for potentially hundreds or thousands of years by Brachus Rex, the old Mad King. So I feel pretty good about that. And that's fine. Let's just end turn. <laughs> I love you too. Oh, thank you. I think I turned the AC off. It's fucking hot in here. I'll be right back, fam. I need my AC. Yep. Yeah, I had the AC off. Silly me. All right. Let's see. Like to finish you off. Oh, one hit point. Come on. All right, that's one down. Let's go. Let's just get right up in his face. Beat him up. Knock him down. And. I suppose I should have encouraged at the start of the turn, but, you know. I never said I was good at this game. Never said I was good. Let's get behind him. And stab. Stab. And stab. We got an invisible homie. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit him. Nope. Just gotta wait. Show yourself. Show yourself, bitch. There you are. <laughs> hey! That couldn't turn me into a chicken. That's my move, sir. That is my move. Punch, punch, and no CC, so we'll just cripple you. That's weird. I feel like I got two extra AP there, but I probably just miscalculated. And dead. All right. Easy peasy. Got any fancy loot for me? Ooh. A staff. Let's go ahead and rest. I think we got one more fight in here. Yes. And four undead this time. 
Let's have you. Cloak and dagger up here. Get in position and start to back a stab. And we'll go for... I don't know why I'm complicating this. Let's just flurry. Let's have you tactical retreat up to here. And beat up these two. Can we hit them both? Yes, we can. A little bonus damage. That's not going to save you. Alright, so we've got this guy to finish off. Don't think I can get behind him, so let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Nice. Hopefully I can blink. No, I cannot. That's unfortunate. So I guess we shall... Eh, let's just run. Let's just run. It'll be fine. Why did Flesh Sacrifice move on my bar? That's weird. Oh my god, stop missing! Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's try to hit them both. What the fuck? You were highlighted, you goddamn liar. Uh, fortify some armor. Get that last AP. Hey, what's up, Steph? I am here now, nerds. Welcome to the nerd party, sir. Always a pleasure. Alright, hopefully we can... Actually, let's go ahead and haste. It's gonna save us some AP. Let's use one to get over there. And try to backstab our way up on the ledge. Yes, we can. Get behind you. And backstab. Probably should have used adrenaline there, but that's fine. We're doing just fine. Uh, once again, I'll encourage at the end of the turn, because I'm bad at this game. Blinding Radiance. Good. I'll be missing even more than before. Yay! It's okay, we still got the kill. And let's just focus fire down this little dwarfy here. Skip it. Almost dead. V9. That's a great idea. No blind for me, thank you very much. God damn it, a miss. Alright, down to one. Let's go ahead and heal Sybil just a little bit. And you are going to cloak and dagger your way over here behind the target. And we'll try and knock him down and miss. Hey! Success. Once again, could have used adrenaline. I feel like we're a little bit overleveled for the content right now. So I'm not being super tactful with my decisions. Which is just fine. I enjoy a hard fight as much as the next guy, but I also like absolutely crushing dick. So, you know, either way, I am happy. We got a blue chest piece. Very cool. Um, 
Got one more lad to loot over here. Why don't we just... Tactical retreat. Come on, come on. Walk faster. Just go ham on him. Yeah, it works. It works. And we can hopefully identify this chest piece. We've got a finesse chest piece. So 12 and 3 versus 10 and 7. So more defense. Um, so it's a tankier piece as opposed to a more damage piece. I think we'll keep on the piece that we have now. If I recall, these soul jars don't do anything, but let's just make sure. Nope. Oh, that was Withermore's soul jar. Back in one of the earlier episodes, we uh, pulled a spear out of a skeleton um, who had been trapped there for like a thousand years, the poor guy. And uh, he asked us to you know, end his life if we can. So we just destroyed his soul jar, so he is now laid dead. You notice a deep fissure beneath the statue's right hand. A chunk of stone full. Um, so yeah. We, uh, nice. did something nice for that very, very old guy. So if you have enough wits, if you go over to that statue, it gives you a special dialogue to, like, uh, like pick at the scratch that you see and you can get the tyrant leggings the tyrant set is a five piece set that was worn by Gracchus Rex the Mad King way back in the day the, bounty, I take it. Um, the interesting thing about the set though is that all the pieces are cursed so they will uh, either like light you on fire literally deal damage or reduce your stats if you try to wear them but if you wear all five pieces you won't it'll null, uh, nullify the curse. It's not a particularly good set, unfortunately. Um, I think they could have done a little bit more with it. Made it a little bit more fun, a little bit better. But all in all, just kind of a fun fact about the game. And down here. No, 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 no. You don't pick the lock, you pick the lock. Uh, Steph, you gotta go AFK, all right. All right, these are the holding cells. Um, there are a number of ways that you can accidentally end up down here and having to fight your way out. Fortunately, that didn't happen to us. So now that we're down here, we're actually strong enough to take on the very difficult fight. We'll be doing it in a moment. And we get a waypoint in case we need it. The statue, the droplet bird. What's over here? I don't remember. A pocket knife? Sure. I'll take it. Why are you walking so slow? Jesus. Oh! This is the ladder that takes you up to the statue in the center of town. Good to know. There's a lot of ways in and out of here. I think there's anything in this chest. I think this is where they put your shit if you get arrested. Hey, bud. Get that girl and her head sucker out of here. What? I uh, guess he's talking about you. Hold on. Maybe I should talk to him. Maybe he knows something that could help me. Uh, sure. Definitely couldn't hurt. I hope. Hey, loudmouth. What gives? I'm trying to relax here, aren't I? Whatever's going on with you and your passenger, I don't really need it in my vicinity. You can... you can see it. S see? Hey, sense? Good gods, yes. You're a mystic too. Mystic? Ha! Used to be a sort of demonologist, though. Was learning the arts, at least. Never did have much of a knack for it, to be honest. Studied under a real maestro, though. 
Learn this not to. Um, he's a demonologist. Ask if he can help with whatever's in Losa's head. Doubt it. Exorcism's a tier three skill. I was only halfway through tier one when I got thrown in here. Come on, make yourself useful. There's got to be something you can do. Well, I might be able to tell you exactly what's inside you. There might be any number of things. A ghost, a floater, a lucid dreamer who took a wrong turn somewhere. Let me try something. He places a thumb on each of Losa's temples and one foot gently on hers. Now, let's see. Hmm. Holy, holy, holy. You ought to thank your lucky stars. That thing hasn't turned you into a meat puppet by now. Crick on a cracker. You need help. Serious help. Oh, don't I know it. Hmm. Do me a favor. Get out of here and hie you to the north of Driftwood. My old master was hot on the heels of something there, and if anyone can help you, he can. Driftwood, old master, hot hills. Got it. I don't dare say it now. Not while her guest is listening. Don't you worry. With something like that inside you, Loser, he'll either come to you, or you'll be drawn to him soon enough. Um. Eh, you're nice enough. You'll be the one that lives. I don't technically need to kill everybody. But this girl, she's not going to be so lucky. Ah, who are you? Who are you? you yeah, get out of here! Ah, where are the guards? What's guards? that? Help! Oh, just a jug? What? No, you can't Shut up! It. Time to die. They'll get their hands on you and then... Any minute now. Yeah, shouldn't have been Any so loud. <laughs> oh shit, you don't even give XP. Useless. Absolutely useless. But I'll take your apple juice. Locked. Hello. The elf's skin is pale as a corpse's, but his face contorts with inscrutable emotion. Joy, horror, and rapture flash over him like the changing surface of a pond. His eyes lock onto yours. It's you! Uh... Frown and tell the elf he's no kin of you, nor do you remember crossing paths with him. No! No, 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 it's you! It's... His back suddenly arches as he spasms in pain. Uh, oh, I, I know it's you. You're like me, see? I'm not the last. The bishop doesn't count. No, he doesn't count. And I'm done for, but you, you, there's still hope. Uh, ask him who he thinks you are? He screws up his face, as though trying to see a small dot on a far horizon. You? Why, you're everything. Stop it. Uh, you need to go. Dallas, after she took me, she did something. My head, I feel like someone's rummaged their fingers through my skull. Get out while you can. Um, ask him if he wants us to put him out of his misery? He giggles coquettishly. Then bellows like a bear. Whoa! <laughs> Leave! Let's, uh... Let's put Homeboy out of his misery. Ah, 75 XP. I'll take it. Alright. Neato. Neato Mosquito. Alright, so we got a proper fight up here. Oh! Only level 3, so this is gonna be easy. What do you think you're doing, prowling around inside the fort? Uh... Looking for magisters to kill, homie. Um, tell him you're leaving, and you wouldn't advise him to stand in your uh, way. That's almost cute. Is it? He looks you up and down. Got a nice marble to you, haven't you? Good. My hands have been looking a little on the lean side. Gross. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, like, soon. Um, we could kite them into this room, but honestly, they're so low level. I'm not really worried about this. Can we... 
Why don't we jump up here? Move for no AP. Let's get her on one of the archers in the back. Let's go for another backstab. We should be able to finish it. Nice. Summoned a doggo. Okay. Ooh, the flattery game. <laughs> All right. Let's get you up here to deal with the main guy. Let's use tactical retreat so we don't have to burn a bunch of AP. Ah, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Alright, nice critical hit. We got through his physical armor. So we can CC him next turn. Alright, let's have you take care of the doggo. Let's use ruptured tendons. It really wasn't necessary. But that's fine. Stop missing! Nice. He did. That was an XP for that. Very nice. And she got knocked down. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Uh, we can use first aid to pick her back up. Really good skill. Go ahead and put haste on her. I think we can just get behind this guy. Do a little bit of damage. And why don't we use peace of mind on Losa to give her a little bit more damage. Punch. Punch, and let's go ahead and CC. Uh oh. Oh, that was just oil. Thought we were about to explode. And sure, let's just encourage. Finish him off. And, ugh, I'm already covered in oil. Too bad. Let's just start slogging our way over there. Can you teleport him down, like, right here? Nice. Nicely done, homegirl. Let's do that. Knock him down. And we're good. Please. <laughs> Please. Healing. I need healing. Uh... Uh, tell him it looks like he's left it too late to resign his commission. I am, I am no magister. Not in spirit. Please, see reason. Um, I've done this, guys. You can give him a healing potion to save him, and he's, he's a decent bloke. But the last time I did that, it took all of my fucking healing potions for some reason. I had, like, 15... And they all disappeared, and I was really upset about it. So, I don't know if that's a bug, but I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to kill this prick. 500 XP works for me. Ooh, hello. Got a wand. Don't need that. Oh, there's the shiny red ball. Um, so, I was talking about this earlier, uh, before when my mic was having trouble. If you get this shiny red ball... And that room where the episode started where we were fighting the dogs, you can throw the shiny red ball for the dogs and they won't fight you. They'll just you'll just get some XP for it. Which I think is pretty cool. So it's better to do this room first and then move upstairs. In theory. 
Nice. Some crap to sell. Boy, I really desperately need a vendor to get, get, start emptying out my bags. Like, look at all this shit. So much shit. Um, there's a hidden room over here, yeah? Yeah. So let's come over here. Let's do a tactical retreat in. Oh, there's a ladder. Psych. Huh! <laughs> 600 XP for getting in here. Dope. Got a simple pendant. Uh, nine magic armor and plus one to wits. That's not bad at all. Unfortunately, we can't wear necklaces just yet while we have our source colors on. They occupy our neck slot. So let's just get back out of here. Do a little tactical retreat. And then there is a cave system over here with some fancy slugs that we're going to fight. Some very fancy slugs that are on fire. Fun fact. Cur courteous fire slug? It's courteous? Huh. Interesting quality for a flaming slug to have. I believe the slugs were also sorcerers uh, that the Magisters cursed. And... This one, the royal fire slug, was a queen from back in the that? day. Something's up ahead. And the other ones were like her subjects. The fiery slime creature looms imperiously over you and utters a questioning gurgle. Uh, tell the gruesome slime ball that you don't understand it. It had better keep out of your way. The slime beast growls and lurches forward to attack. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay, now we're in combat. I was gonna say, what's going on here? Um, why don't we put haste, peace of mind on Losa, and try and get into attack position. Nice. Let's go ahead and use. Flesh Sacrifice, get one more AP, and then knock her down with Battering Ram. She has haste, so she's just going to run over here. Eh, I could have done that better. Oh well, it's fine. They don't seem to have any ranged attacks, which is nice. Let's kill her. Let's encourage, get a little bit of health back. And why don't we tactical retreat right over to here. Start punching this one. And can we hit both? No. Let's knock that one down. up just a squidge and blink behind this one and we might be able to finish it off nice very nice if you're playing this game for yourself and you still have the black cat with you make sure not to do this fight until you get out of Fort Joy because the black cat will catch on fire from all the fire these slugs spread around and that is very sad and the reason why I restarted my first playthrough is the cat died. And I was like, nah, fam. My cat's not dying. It's not gonna happen. Nice! Slimes were disgusting. The princess should have your head for that language. Everything's on fire. This is fine. And one moment. Shkaboop. Oh, we got a ring. Six magic armor plus one pyro. Uh, not for us, but... That's 
fine. Puff balls. Ooh, I want some puff balls. I think you can combine puff balls with an empty vial to make some sort of potion. I do not remember what that potion is, but... Sells decently. An onion? Sure. Not gonna say no to an onion. You never know when you're gonna need an onion. What? Alright. You sound like a dog. You seems to be gurgling plaintively, almost as if it's weeping uh-huh what if I just kill you how about that yeah I think that was the right decision 600 XP it was the right decision all right how do we get out of here um, What's this? Hang on. What's this? Let's look down here first. This looks like a dead end. We got some Emma Duva. I don't know what that is. What's that? More Emma Duva. Oh, hello. A chest, healing potion, gold, malachite, and bouncing shield. Bummer. Just really hoping for another battle stomp for Sybil. Got another chest. A plate with 45 gold for some reason. That's a lot of melon. Yeah. Back from my shower, what did I miss? Exo, uh, we killed some magisters, we killed some fire slugs, and we found some puffballs. It's pretty exciting stuff. I'm sorry you missed it. And where does this go? This should take us back out onto the beach. And I think, with that being done, we have done the entire... Oops the entire underground of the Fort Joy Castle. And uh, I think we're just going to travel over to the Hollow Marshes. And that seems like a good place to end this episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. If you're watching it on the YouTubes, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I appreciate your boost, Double Heart. And I'll see you next time. And if you're watching this on Twitch, we will be continuing for at least another hour.